Dr. Nichelle Gurley, specializing in prenatal, postpartum, and pediatric chiropractic care and fitness, along with postpartum rehab. I'm gonna talk about how to do a glute bridge and a single leg glute bridge to help with the stability of the hips. The hips get pretty unstable during pregnancy and postpartum due to the relaxant hormone loosening up the ligaments. So we're gonna utilize the hip stabilizers, the glutes and the glute meds in particular, to help stabilize that pelvis that is wanting to be really unstable just to open up for, for birth. How you do a glute bridge is you're gonna be on the ground or on a table or whatever um, you have, knees bent, and then you're gonna activate your core and you're gonna slowly, to the count of five, raise up until you're in line, so you're not gonna come down to here, raise up till you're in line, hold for two, and then slowly controlled to a count of five, lower back down. To do a single leg glute bridge, which is gonna activate your glute meat even more, so I'm gonna activate the glute meat on this side towards the camera, I'm gonna raise the opposite leg, keep my pelvis level, and then same thing, slowly lower up to the count of five, and hold for two, and slowly lower back down to the count of five. The glute bridge and the single leg, leg glute bridge is a great tool to help keep those muscles uh, of the pelvis that help stabilize. So the glute meds and the glute max help stabilize that hip. It's a great way to keep them strong. And with that, it's really important if you're somebody who has ligament laxity before pregnancy, this is a really good tool. So this would be something as opposed to stretching, you would do these stabilization tools with the glute bridge and single leg glute bridge instead.